Welcome to this Bulls update. My name is Paul Peck, joined by UB women's volleyball coach Blair Lipsitz. Always good to catch up with you, and it's always good to catch up with you when we know we're going to see a little bit of you as we've talked about your crazy schedule being on the road for such a long time. Well, here you are with a five-match homestand that starts on Friday against Central Michigan. It's nice to be around, isn't it? Great to be home. Great to be back in alumni for two and a half weeks. You know, we'll be here and we'll be able to sort of settle into our home court. How much can that help your team? How much can that help the performances? How much can that help the attitude and the mood of your players? Definitely the attitude and the mood. get They're more positive because they get to be at home. They take care of their schoolwork outside of the gym and they can sort of just uh, be an alumni. Yeah, I mean, and, and I, maybe it's, it, it goes unsaid sometimes that, that when you're a Division One athlete, you're going to spend time on the road, on buses, on planes, and away from school. And how, you, you still got to get the work done. You've just got to do it in different circumstances so it's a little easier now it's a little more comfort zone how much can that help it's a lot of help like I said they get a lot of their schoolwork done outside of it and it's a big time uh, during the school year for them so to be able to have that at home and then the rest of their time they can come watch film they have all this extra that they can work with well there's probably that probably has no more pressure on any group than your freshmen of which you have a very key role for some of your freshmen on your team so not only are they adjusting to playing they're adjusting to life on campus and all that other stuff yet it seems as though some of them are starting to settle in give us a little bit of the highlights of some of the freshman class right now uh, Maddie Torbeck has stepped in in a big way she's done great defensively for us she's really picked up her passing game as well we also have Rachel Sanks this past weekend uh, she did some really good things on the outside took some big swings for us uh, Maddie has moved into the libero role coming off a career high 25 digs against Bowling Green um, how difficult is that for a freshman to take that spot over it's tough to do but she's competing with some of the top liberos in the conference so we're really excited to see where she's going to go from here Rachel Sanks had a career best 10 kills at Western Michigan on Saturday uh, again starting to see the progress of people getting freshmen getting situated a little bit absolutely getting comfortable on the court comfortable playing with the group that we have uh, and we've talked an awful lot about Scout McLaren and the role that she's already been playing for you all season long, but 43 assists and four sets at Western Michigan. Those are stats that sort of show that level of improvement. What have you seen behind the stats? She makes us better on the court. Uh, she makes that second contact better. So even if we're not passing well, we can still get by because she can put a hittable ball up for us. Is there some inspiration to your upperclassmen that come from freshmen that are performing well? Absolutely. When they see them comfortable, I think it helps the freshmen come into their own a little bit more. All right. So as we mentioned, you've got a five match home winning, a home, hopefully a home winning streak, but a home stand for your team. And then you end up with three on the road to wrap up the season. So how do you as a coach sort of view these last eight matches? and how they're going to fall. Mm -hmm. We look at the next ones at home. We need to build momentum going into the end of season. And we always say if you get to the MAC tournament, once you're there, anything can happen. You know, we kind of take from women's basketball last year who went in and won it as a lower seed. And I think that helps our team just want to get there so that they can work to get to the top. Have you asked Felicia about what the uh, what the secret <laughs> ingredient for that course, was? Of course, of course. She's, she's helped, she's helped uh, immensely with our program. And that's pretty so. neat that there is a lot of cooperation between yeah. the sports here, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. What can you learn from a basketball coach or, or a soccer coach or someone else like that? What it's can all you the learn? same. It's all the same. It's a how to get a team to do great things. And that's I know Felicia's been doing it uh, here for a long time and for a long time in general. So any help we can get, we take. All right. Well, let's see if uh, all of that rubs off. And it's Blair's team that starts to do some great things with this five match home stand coming up that begins on Friday night against Central Mission. Good to have you around. Good Thank luck you. over the next uh, couple of weeks. Thank you. Blair Brown Lipsitz is the UB women's volleyball head coach. And we thank her for joining us on this Bulls Update.